Hello everybody, Maven here, and this video is dedicated to those of you who have been stuck at work all day and haven't had the chance to log into Destiny 2 yet. So when you get home, you'll know exactly what to do to farm the Into the Light stuff. So let's break down everything you need to know. Hope you enjoy. So when you get home from work, you're just gonna let loose and take a firm, hard throttling from Bungie until it decides it's done. Once it finishes, you're gonna get greeted with a brand new cutscene, but we skip that because we don't have time for that. And then we're gonna be put immediately into the brand new social space called the Hall of Champions. And when you get to the end of the hall, you'll get greeted by Shax. Scroll a page over and you can grab a quest from him that tells you to go and complete the onslaught mode. Now they got this cool new quality of life update. When you receive a new quest, you can immediately press M or open your directory and it allows you to immediately launch the activity of the quest you just received. So the objective of Onslaught Mode is to defend the ADU, which is the machine in the center, and you can buy upgrades to defend it. You can buy sleeper bots, you can buy electrical fences, and you can buy turrets, and you can even upgrade these things as well using the currency system called Scraps. You earn scraps by defeating enemies and completing waves, and you can save up these scraps for later to upgrade your turrets, which is what I recommend doing because the turrets are kind of OP. Now, whenever you defeat high value targets, they will drop these balls that you kind of throw at the center machine, just like you did back in the old Black Armory days in the forges. And every multiple of five waves, correct me if I'm wrong, you'll get teleported to the pyramid ship where you have to take down a little mini boss. And my job in this pyramid ship was to collect the spark, run it to the end, and dunk it at the ball of light to instantly defeat the mini boss. Then you go back to the main world, rinse and repeat. Once you get to the pyramid ship again, you'll have another boss encounter. Luckily, Bungie was kind and did not give this boss a health gate, so you can just go ahead and melt. Now, when you complete this activity, you will receive three things. You'll receive a brand new Into the Light weapon. You'll receive Hype, which is the new Shaq's reputation. And then you'll receive something called Trophies. Now, trophies are basically the same thing as the treasure keys from Dares of Eternity to unlock the chest in the treasure hoard next to Xur. So you can spend 10 trophies in the chest next to Shaxx to get some new gear. So after returning to the Hall of Champions and talking to Shaxx, you can then talk to the sweeper bot to his right. This will give you an attunement quest. It starts you off with the one for Elsie's rifle as a little tutorial. You can have two different objectives to complete this quest. You can either complete Vanguard activities or you can get 100 precision kills with the pulse rifle anywhere in the solar system. So to complete this as quick as possible, I just use the revision zero and I put it on the two burst fire mode. That's gonna be very easy to get precision kills. And then I went to the breakneck mission in the Neo Muna campaign and went to the good old weapon XP farming checkpoint. There are plenty of low level goblins there. Just take them out, hit those crits. Once you get to the end before the Minotaur spawn, go ahead and just blow yourself up on the floor, rinse and repeat. This only took me five minutes to complete the quest. So go ahead and return to the Hall of Champions and turn in your attunement quest and this will allow you to go and attune the Elsie's rifle. You go and click on the hologram over there and that will give you a 50% higher chance of obtaining Elsie's rifle from the chest next to Shaxx. You can go back to the sleeper bot and now you can grab all of the other attunement quests. They're very easy to do over at Breakneck like I just showed you and this will allow you to target farm the loot you want from the chest next to Shaxx by turning in the trophies that you get from Onslaught Mode. And then you just go and farm Onslaught Mode to your heart's content and that is the Into the Light farm loop. So that is gonna do it for this one. Good luck with the farm. And if you wanted some farm tips for Onslaught Mode, I did do a video last week on the best builds to use in Onslaught Mode. And I will be doing another one on the best weapons to use in Onslaught Mode, possibly tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for that. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe as I got a lot of juicy Into the Light content coming throughout the week. So stay tuned. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.